All right. Welcome to Fireside Chat Playgrounds 8-Bit Christmas. Part one. Part one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in these videos, we are going to attempt to really get to the core of what is Playgrounds 8-Bit Christmas Project. I'm David Farrell. I'm the composer of the 8-Bit Christmas Project. And I'm Sarah Whitna, violinist and board president. So Sarah, where should we start? Um, why don't you tell me your history with 8-Bit and why, why are we doing this project from your perspective and then maybe I can kind of chime in. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, when I think of like 8-Bit, uh, the, the, the thing that I think of and I think that a lot of people think of are video games. And I'm old enough that like I started playing video games, I guess, before 8-Bit was even a thing. But Did, like, Was 8-Bit on Atari? I think like mm -hmm. Nintendo is really like okay. the first like 8-bit or the one that most people think of. And so when I was a kid, my friend down the street, Joey, had a Nintendo and played Nintendo. Nice. And so I think like that music just kind of like sinks into your brain because totally. uh, you're, you're exposed to it for a very long time, like playing mm -hmm. a lot of video mm -hmm. games. Mm -hmm. And so it's something that I just have like a lot of nostalgia for and yeah. that reminds me of, uh, of that time in my life. Mm -hmm. What were your go-to Video games. Wow, great question. I don't know if we have enough time to answer it, but, um, <laughs> you know, Mario, obviously the Mario series, but I would say, like, Gold Star to Castlevania, if you want video mm, games. It's kind of mm, like a scary mm. video game, and they just had a lot of really, really great 8-bit music. That series Do you think that, cool that like, influenced your arrangements 100 percent like i think of literal video games when i make these arrangements and mm -hmm. like i think of that music for sure mm -hmm. so some of them are i think of like specific games and the feelings of those games mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i know this might be jumping ahead but in old lang syne you quote a video game is that right that's true yeah i quote Mar a mario the true classic yes, of all video yes. games i felt like it was fun yeah yeah it's fun you know to have like some of those signatures because I don't think I'm the only person who has listened to so much of that game music, and I don't think I'm the only person who has a lot of those associations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, when did you get into doing 8-bit stuff? What prompted that? Yeah, um, I got my doctorate, and then I was so tired of, like, of being like stressed about music. And so I said, well, I still want to make music because I don't want to just like give up because like I, I, I just finished this thing. But I wanted to do something that was like really fun and really liked. And so like right after I graduated uh, with my doctorate was when I first made 8-bit music because I wanted to be creative and making music, but I didn't want it to be so strenuous and stressful like it was when I was finishing that degree. And so that's when I first made a piece called 8-Bit Chacon, which was just like a fun, light 8-bit thing that I, I put together and had fun with and like didn't really think too much about. Mm -hmm. Nice. And when did you start? I know that you've been doing Christmas 8-bit for a while. Yeah, it was it was right around that same time, okay. right? Um, I had moved away from the Midwest where I'm from and I was living in Texas and um, I had done this one 8-bit piece, this this thing that was just kind of a fun thing, and it was completely like spontaneous for the moment. I went to a Christmas concert at the university I was teaching at, and then I was done and I went home and I poured myself a glass of whiskey and I was just like, you know, like it could be fun to just like make a Christmas thing. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like I did it like in one night, like in an hour or so, and then I just shared it with my friends. Mm -hmm. and. Um, a lot of my music nerd friends thought it was really funny. Totally. They're like, this is a really cool thing. And so I was like, oh, that was cool. That was cool to just make something and share it. And, you know, that was fun. And so um, that was in 2010. And every year since then, I've made another one just because it's still been fun every year. Yeah, totally. When you, how do, is 8-bit a sound that already exists in software? Maybe we're jumping to the next question. Uh, Let's hold that. And that'll be the next step. Future so. questions coming soon in Fish. another episode of Getting to Know 8-Bit Christmas, the Playground Holiday Spectacular. Stay tuned. <laughs>